Hey, what's up everyone? This is just going to be a quick story time where I share a personal experience. It's not going to be Mandela Effect related. It's not going to be regarding any shifts or anything like that. It's just going to be a personal experience. So this is from when I was in ninth or 10th grade, this teacher I had. I'll just call her Miss, Miss S. I'm not going to bring up any names. She was the... Uh, it wasn't a com it was a computer class but it wasn't it was more of it was the beginning like it wasn't keyboarding and typing and all of that but it was it was more of i guess it was like typing skills and things like that so i was a few days into the class and i had figured right away see this teacher had sort of a high strung energy really high strung energy and I always chose to be nice to everyone. I was always nice to people, no matter what. And I tried to make friends. I looked at everyone with a, as a potential friend or a potential person that I would try to just be kind to. Do unto others as you want them to do to you. And that's the way I always acted toward people, and I would act kind. People would actually say things like, Jesus walking, and things like that, because I was so, and I don't compare myself to Jesus at all, by any means, because I'm a, I'm a sinner just like anyone else. But that's the way people would say, the seniors would say things like that, because I was always so kind and nice, and I didn't participate in all the things that they did. But they respected me, and I appreciated that. But this teacher, she was always... Um, and by the way, I do not compare myself to the Lord. Jesus Christ was the only perfect, the only perfect being to walk this in, this earth. I mean, that's that's a fact for me. That is what I believe, and there is no way around that. So, that's that's for me. There is no way that anyone could ever be that perfect. I we've all you know. We've all said things or done things or, you know, been upset or watched things or been, um, we've all uh, said or done something, you know, that we regret or that we, we sin. We all sin because we all fall short of the glory of God. That's just human existence. We all fall short. But this person, that's why I'm stating is because I always try to be nice to people. That's my thing. No matter what, I always try to be nice and be kind to people. So I was always nice to this teacher, no matter what. And one day there was a problem. By the way, she was also from New Jersey. And I have family from, on one of my, one of the side of my family uh, has family from New Jersey. That's where they're from, on one side. And so, on my daddy's side, they're from New Jersey. So, and we're, the, the other side's from the countryside, from here and from Michigan and from Tennessee, so that's, I was kind of, I'm kind of from all over the place, really, to be honest with you, so, but mostly Tennessee, you know, Tennessee, mostly, mostly in uh, this area at heart, so, I wish Tennessee could be different, <laughs> the, the way things are, and they're, I don't know, it's just crazy sometimes, but I veer off again, I veer off, but my teacher was always very high strung and no one liked her they they called her a b and everything because like oh you can't you're never going to be able to get her to like you well one day you know the computer's messing up and i mess up computers a lot my energy my energy messes up devices all the time and one day the computer froze and wouldn't work and it was slow and and i would i was raising my hand and i said miss you know i said her name and i said uh miss s i'll just call her her name started with an s and she stated like, what? <laughs> she was in the middle of talking. I said, my computer's messed up again. And I said, it's not working for me. She went, oh, she was always going like, oh, she, oh, she would go, I don't know why she'd do that. But God, Jesus, Joseph, Mary, you know, she was always in Mary and the shepherds and the disciples or something. I don't know. Jesus and the disciples or uh, and the shepherds and the sheep. And she's like, what is it now? And she was looking at the computer and saying, she was like, well, what the frick? You know, she swore a lot. She cussed a lot. And she would say, she actually made us do an essay about how swearing, swearing is an outlet of, um, let's see, it uh, releases certain things in the brain that help the humans, help help a human and all of that kind of thing, which I don't know if that's true or not, but she, certain words she claimed would help, uh, help you, 
yeah, that was one essay she made us read, an article. But anyway, then she would look at the computer and say, like, well, I guess it's not just you. It was not. It was it messed up for me too while I was over there. And I and then later at the end of class, I went back in there, and I went to her desk and I told her, you know, I didn't mean to interrupt you today. I said I wasn't trying to hold up your class. I just wanted to let you know that that it just messed up and I didn't know what happened. She said, oh no, no, I I seen that once I got up there to you. I I noticed that your computer was messed up and that it it messed up for me too. She said I I thought you were just. She thought I was just kind of trying to delay the class class like many students will do and so she finally and I said okay yes ma'am I just want to make sure that you uh that you knew that I wouldn't do that that I wouldn't uh deliberately cause you a problem and she was like looking at me in such awe she said I know that sweet you know I've never had anyone talk you know never had a student talk like that to me and she just said you know she was like uh you know, thank you very much. You know, I appreciate that. I know you weren't trying to cause a problem, hon. What's your name again? And I, she told, I told her my name, and she said, "All right, well, you have a good." I said, "Have a good day." I said, "Yes, ma'am. You too." And I said, "Well, I'll see you tomorrow." And she said, "You too, hon." And she was nice to me ever, every since that moment. So that the whole, the whole thing just kind of shifted, and. She told funny stories and experiences and things like that and how she related to Everybody Loves Raymond, how they uh, were like, she got baskets of fruit for Christmas and then they, they put them in the, this uh, fruit catalog that kept sending them more fruit. And she was like, oh gosh, not more fruit. And <laughs> she said, how many of you know about Everybody Loves, Everybody Loves Raymond? Obviously, I love I love that show and I knew about it, so I was a fan of those those sitcoms. Everybody Loves Raymond, you know, Two and a Half Men, King of Queens, and I like the Big Bang Theory, and especially the comedies from, the sitcoms from those days, you know, My Name is Earl, and the sitcoms from back then, before 2010 or so, were much better, in my opinion, and uh, just shows then, she was talking about Raymond, and so... Anyway, yeah, she was nice to me ever since then, ever since that moment, ever since that moment. And I was nice to her, and I respected her. I respected all of my teachers. I was very nice to them. I did some strange energy things to the ones that were not nice to me, and a lot of things would happen to them. But I'm not getting into that for this video. And I just wanted to share how, you know, a little bit of kindness can go a long way, and you'd be surprised. I just, I smile, and I try to be nice to people, and they just... They're in such awe over me, and they just treat me especially, and I appreciate that. They just treat me like I'm, you know, that they don't get that all the time, that it's just unusual. And I, they treat me very kindly. Many people do because of, because of that. You also, yes, you meet, you know, jerks in this world as well, but I've tried to be nice and kind to people. I'm also an empath, so any negative energy really affects me badly. I don't like when I get dark and negative, it also affects me, but, I mean, that just happens to me, but right now I'm positive, or at least I feel like I am, <laughs> and I wanted to share that, that story, that experience, so, if you have any experiences you want to share, this is not, I mean, go ahead and share them, this is not, you know, the topics of my normal videos, this is just a, a podcast, sort of a vlog, where I just talk about some experiences from the past. Like how a little kindness can go a long way. So that's the end of my story time for the moment. Thank you for watching this video. Peace and much love. And I hope to speak with all of you again very soon. Once again, peace. Bye.